Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is going on across the Caribbean. And so we'll be looking at what is currently there, of course, as well as the forecast in terms of the expected uh, precipitation, especially from that first front that is going to be making its way into the region very soon. So we'll be looking at all of that along with the Saharan dust forecast and even the temperature forecast. So there might be a temperature dip for some areas. So we'll be looking at that as well. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tell notification bell so that you never miss an important update and so as we return to this satellite imagery here we can see that there is a bit of activity across parts of the western caribbean uh, not seen as much over to the northern uh, caribbean and also for most of the lesser antilles but going into the vicinity of trinidad and tobago we see a bit of activity there as well but there isn't anything major at this time in the region and so that is where the front is currently located that is going to be helping to induce rainfall activity across the region and so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the precipitation total expected so first up this is from the GFS and this is between now and Saturday of this week so between now and then, we can see that quite a bit of rainfall is expected across some areas. See some of those lilac shades for some areas, including eastern Jamaica, parts of uh, the Yucatan, and also for other sections of Central America. And notice that we don't see much for the southeastern Caribbean. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, a lot of this activity is not going to be affecting that part of the region. So the ABC Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, the Windward Islands, uh, it is unlikely that you guys are going to be receiving any rainfall totals that are close to what the, uh, especially the Northern Caribbean is expected to receive over the next few days. And so as we take a look at what the Euro has to show, we can see here that this is the same time frame. So looking at from now to Saturday and we can see here that it is in agreement the Eastern Caribbean, Southeastern Caribbean not going to be receiving as much rainfall between now and Saturday compared to the rest of the region but uh, the model isn't showing where we're seeing any staggering rainfall totals. Uh, of course it's the accumulated precipitation for a few days so major rainfall events such as flooding is not really anticipated at this point in time. However, you might be looking in the uh, southern part of the region, especially for Colombia, and noticing how much rainfall they're expected to receive a lot more. And that is as a result of the uh, plethora of moisture right now across South America that is inducing a lot of rainfall for some of those countries. So that isn't linked to the front that's going to be bringing the precipitation to the Caribbean. And so guys, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there is likely to be a temperature drop as a result of this front. So let's look at which areas are likely to feel that. So this is the GFS temperature anomaly map and we can see here that we have these blues indicating below average temperatures. Uh, the white means that things are normal. Meanwhile, the warmer colors indicate that there is above average temperatures. And so as we head to Thursday, we can see uh, that massive cool air in association with the front uh, affecting the Bahamas, Florida, parts of the southeastern U.S., and also Cuba. And as we head later on the day, we can see that other areas such as Jamaica as well as Hispaniola might be experiencing some of those below normal temperatures. So you might notice that temperature drop, especially Thursday evening. And so uh, along with the increase in rainfall activity, if we're going to be having overcast skies throughout the day naturally that would help to induce maybe a degree celsius or two below normal and so that coupled with the cooler than normal temperatures expected from the front will induce a cool thursday night so that is something that is possible and then as we head to saturday we can see that a lot of that cool air is dissipating but uh, we can see that though the temperature is not as cool as before we see that more areas likely going to be experiencing a little drop 
in temperature. Nothing too major. But as we look at the U.S., there we can see that other front about to make its way down. So by the start of next week, that is going to be the time when that front is going to be exiting the U.S. and bringing the second round of rainfall for the Caribbean. So that is something that seems highly likely at this point in time. So as I mentioned earlier as well, let's go ahead and take a look at the Saharan dust forecast. And so if you're in the Eastern Caribbean right now, you might be uh, noticing that for quite some time now, you guys have been seeing some hazy skies. But let's go ahead and look at when this mass of dust across the Caribbean is going to likely dissipate. So this is for today, of course, this morning here. And we can see that most of the southeastern Caribbean and Lesser Antilles is uh, blanketed by that mass of dust. We can see that it is not a very dense mass, but it's still something out there that would cause you to notice a lot of that haze. And so as we head to tomorrow, we can see here that uh, it is expected that this is going to continue drifting toward the west. And we see that some of the dust has begun clearing up, especially for the uh, southern Windward Islands and also in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago. We can start to see it clearing up and gradually dissipating. There we go to Thursday and notice the front uh, at that time. So there we have that activity in association with the front and we can see here that most of these Saharan dust is expected to dissipate. Some of it is reaching uh, the Caribbean coast of Central America but for the most part over in the Eastern Caribbean we're seeing here that it is dissipating and then heading to Later on the day, near the end of the day, we can see that most of this dust is going to be dissipating. And then as time goes by, of course, as we head into Friday and Saturday, it is likely that this is going to be pretty much non-existent across the Caribbean. And so this doesn't mean that there's going to be a big sigh of relief because there we have a lot more dust out there in the tropical Atlantic uh, extending from Africa. So... That is what is expected as they're going to be heading into the latter part of this week. So the dust isn't going to be around for much longer. That is the mass in the the mass of dust in the Caribbean that isn't going to be lingering around for a very long time. But of course, as time goes by, as the weeks go by, uh, there is going to be a lot more Saharan dust on the way for the region. And so, guys, that is pretty much it for this update video. So just to recap, we have that first front that is on its way to the Caribbean and it is likely to bring along with it a dip in temperatures especially for the northern Caribbean islands and eventually we're going to have that second front moving in as we head into the early part of next week and then we have that Saharan dust moving across the region that is likely to dissipate as we head into the end of this week so that is pretty much it for this update video and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and if